Uh, I'm here for the scholarship that I applied for. I didn't get anything from you. Now please, I have many students to see today, so can you please go? Who do you think represents Mango Park High and this town better? The beautiful homecoming queen or some black basketball player that can't even take instructions properly? Hey. Hey, Tucker, how's it going? Oh, not bad, how are you? I'm good. Congrats, by the way, on your Homecoming Queen nomination. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, are you here to see Miss Stevens also? Yeah, I am. Um, I had applied for a scholarship, and I'm, I'm hoping she has some good news for me. Oh, you applied for the scholarship too? Yeah, you did as well. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm sure you're gonna get it. You're in all honors classes, and what, like, number one in the class? Number two. But hey, don't sleep on yourself, okay? You've got good grades. You're the head she leader, and you were nominated for the homecoming queen. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck either way, though. Thanks. You too. Yes, Sandra. Can you please send in my next appointment? Thank you. <sighs> All right. Uh, that's my cue. <laughs> Good morning, Councilor Stevens. How are you today? Fine. Have a seat. Yeah. Uh, so, how can I help you? Uh, I'm here for the scholarship that I applied for. Scholarship? Ah! Oh, the athletic department's down the hallway. No, no, I, I applied for an academic scholarship. I sent you my application last week. I was told you have an update for me. Who are you again? I'm Tucker Harris. Tucker Harris. I didn't get anything from you. Could you uh, double check for me, please? Like, I'm 100% certain I sent you something. Harrison. Harrison, did you say? Harris. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, but your application was incomplete. Incomplete? Yes. How? It's incomplete. It's invalid. I am not able to process it. What, what am I missing? Let me see. Okay, so you only turned in one teacher recommendation. Okay. Mr. Harrison, do you not read instructions? It's, it's Harris. Two teacher recommendations are required. Two. Dos. Comprende? Okay, uh, I'll get that complete for you today. Wonderful. And you might want to get a third one because your application needs a little bit of help as it's quite deficient. Really? Councilor Stevens. Did you see my grades last quarter? I'm currently ranked second in my class, and I'm the captain of the basketball team. <laughs> Nobody cares if you can bounce a ball. Now please, I have many students to see today, so can you please go? I'm gonna get this application back to you completed today. Okay. Now, please call on the next student on your way out. Thank you, Councilor Stevens. Hi, Mrs. Stevens. Melissa, my favorite student at Mango Park. <laughs> Hi, how are you, sweetheart? I'm great, thank you. Have a seat, make yourself comfortable. Oh, and congratulations on being the crown, the homecoming queen. Thank you, it was quite the honor. <laughs> oh, please, you deserve it. You are one of the best students we have here at Mango Park High. I mean, you're the type of student that every freshman looks up to. You are a natural born leader. You know, you remind me a lot of myself when I was your age. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So I've looked over your application and needless to say, I was quite impressed by it. 
I'll be sending over the applications to the committee tomorrow. Okay. Um, do you know when they might have an answer by? Should be by Friday. Okay. In the meantime, do you need anything else for me? No, you're good to go. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to call Principal Jacobs and personally recommend you. You don't have to do that. <laughs> oh, please, honey. You're a shoe in darling. I, there's just so many other students that are so much more qualified than I am. Oh, nonsense. You are one of the best students at Mango Park High. Now, think positive. I'll try. <laughs> okay, listen, you have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for all your help. You're welcome, sweetie. Yes, Principal Jacobs, I am confident that we're making the right decision. Now remember, it's not always about what's on paper. See, we're sending this student to the National Honors Convention in Washington, D.C., so we need to send the very best. Yes, I am confident that our choice will make us proud. Yes, thank you. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Hmm. Miss Stevens, you wanted to see me? Hi, Melissa. I am so glad to see you. I have some good news for you. You are this year's scholarship winner. What? <laughs> really? Yes, really. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. We have a lot of planning to do. As part of your scholarship, you're going to be the guest of honor at the Honors National Convention in D.C. Wait, I get a free trip to Washington, D.C.? Yes, you do. And it's in two weeks. Exciting? Uh, yeah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how many applicants were there? Oh, I don't know, maybe 50? Wow, so I was chosen over all of them? Well, I had to do a little bit of lobbying for you, but got the job done. What do you mean? Well, between you and me, you were on the committee's top ten, but ultimately they wanted to choose somebody else. Who? That doesn't matter, and I wasn't going to let that happen. So I called Principal Harris, and I convinced him that you were the right choice. So, congratulations. Wait, so I wasn't chosen? No, not initially, but that doesn't matter now. So who did the committee choose? <laughs> who cares? I do. Can you please tell me? Fine. Some boy named Harrison, I think. You mean Tucker Harris? I guess that's him. Melissa, I appreciate your concern. But you have to understand, some things like this are not just about who has the better grades or who scores higher on some stupid standardized test. But he's so much more qualified than I am. Melissa. This student needs to represent what Mango Park High School is all about. Well, we need to send the very best. Now, who do you think represents Mango Park High and this town better? The beautiful homecoming queen and head cheerleader? Or some black basketball player that can't even take instructions properly? Wow, um, I can't believe you just said that. Said what? Oh, come on, grow up. That's what this world is all about. Now, we're strong women, and we need to look out for one another. Miss Stevens, quite frankly, this is appalling. You should be ashamed of yourself. Excuse me? I cannot accept the scholarship. Have you lost your mind? I reject your proposal. 
This honor belongs to the person who is most qualified, and we both know that's Tucker. Do you know what you're saying? Yes. I'm standing up for what's right. Good day, Miss Stevens. Oh, you are making the biggest mistake of your life, young lady. What is this girl thinking? Mom, <laughs> hey, guess what? I got the scholarship. Yeah, <laughs> I got the scholarship. Thank you, thank you so much. Am I happy? I'm, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, we're celebrating tonight, right? All right, perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you and the family tonight. Thank you again, Mom. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Melissa, wait up. Oh, hey, Tucker. Congratulations on the scholarship. Wouldn't have happened without you. What do you mean? Come on, I know you declined the scholarship. How'd you find out? That doesn't matter. But what does matter is what you did for me. That was very nice of you. It was the right thing to do. Sure, but most people in that position would have never done that. They'd have done the opposite. I'm forever grateful now. I can't thank you enough. It's what you deserve. I'll see you later. Hey, uh, what, are you, what are you doing tonight? Nothing? Yeah, well, my family and I are having dinner tonight, if you want to come over. Really? Yeah. Okay, send me the address. Say less, I'll send it. Thank you. Yeah, see you.